And now we have Italy. Miss Italy is 20 years old and she stands at 173 centimeters tall. She studied industrial chemistry and biotechnology and she plans to further her studies in chemistry or management. You may now ask her questions. Okay, everybody. hello everybody, I'm Fabiana and I have only a few minutes for express myself in the best of the way. So maybe the question after, before I want to, to say, to tell to you who I am, my advocacy and my project. So I'm Fabiana, I have a beautiful life, amazing family, a lot of friends, everything. But uh, in my life I met um, a really big problem, a really big obstacle, and it was me, because uh, always I used to say, you are not enough, you are not enough, you are not enough. Okay, now I can believe in myself. Now I know who I am and I can fight everything. Because the first thing is fight and win ourselves. Then we can uh, conquer everything, uh, the world, everything. <laughs> and uh, what about my advocacy? I used to divide my advocacy into pieces. And the first one, the first step, I used to say less uh, greed, more green. And I used to do less greed, more green. The first part, less greed. Why? Because uh, in Italy, the first problem about the environment are um, the rubbish in the south of Italy and the pollution in the north of Italy. And the grid ruled this uh, problem because in the south, you know, we have mafia and uh, it's a problem. The, it is, uh, the grid is a real big uh, problem. And in the north, the companies with the money, <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry, I don't have to tell you what they can do. And uh, when I used to say more green, Yes, I mean about the environment, but in my country, green is the color of the hope. So believe, hope, it's what we have to do. And uh, what about uh, my project? I want to introduce the cold fusion. It's uh, a new kind of fuel, so less greed, because uh, we don't have uh, fossil fuel act companies, activity, money under this uh, cold fusion. And the second, more green, Yes, the cold fusion is about the water, so it's really echo, I, th I think. And uh, also, for explaining the cold fusion, I can use the five rules. First, recycle. Recycle the dirty water. Reduce, uh, reuse, sorry. Reuse the water from the, melting, the ice melting. Reduce the CO pollution, because the water doesn't pollute. And uh, respect our Mother Earth and us, because we are a piece of Mother Earth. And the last one, rethink. I think that is the most important because uh, we have to rethink another world because we can't uh, think that we can see another world if we don't, if we don't change before how it is our world. So we have to rethink. It's the most important for me. One of the obvious Italy. Yeah, I just want to ask. Uh, you're just European. Uh, there seems to be a movement towards uh, well, secessionism in Europe, like in Catalonia, Catalonia, yes. Spain, and in your country it's Lombardy, uh, right? In yes, yes, we have a lot of it. From yeah, I live in public. I live in Venice. It's near Lombardy, Beautiful so city, yeah, right? it's and this. Yeah, you are really the same, and um, yeah. Sorry. What can you say about it? What, could, what I can say, you know, I live uh, in near um, in my city. It's full of factory. I talk about my city because it's the same. And uh, I can say that uh, um, some years ago, if you pass uh, in um, the city, you can see a different color of the river. Yes, it depends on the day because we have <laughs> a factory that uses color, color, and um, the color of the in the river changes with the, the color of the factory. So it's a little example, and you can understand what we are doing. And uh, the the strange thing at is that nobody do something for that. The people who used to, to press and say, and say, oh, wow, today the river is pink. Okay, and the day after, wow, today is green. So it's, we, we are just only watch it and do nothing. This is what uh, I say, because we are passenger, I think, no? And we are doing nothing in my cities this way. One more question. Um, I noticed you're wearing the Italian colors. Was that intentional? <laughs> um, okay. Um, 
So what is one activity that Italians do for the environment that you think uh, you're proud of and that you think uh, other countries can learn from? Yeah, we have a big group. It's called Lega Ambiente, and I am a member of, uh, of this. And we used to do a lot of uh, meeting with the people. We used to go to the school. I'm proud of this group. It's big, it's in all Italy, and I think that uh, other countries can do the same. Yeah, it's really interesting. You can see a lot of photos, maybe in What's the East. name of the group? Legambiente. What does it mean? Legambiente in English is a group for the environment. Oh, okay. Legambiente, yeah. yeah okay. You can see the photo of our activities. Now I'm not there, but uh, they are doing some meeting with the people for Halloween, uh, join with the environment. It's uh, a really good idea because uh, the children love this. And it's, uh, uh, they, are, uh, they are our future. <laughs> Yeah. Miss Italy, I would like mm -hmm. just like, would just like to thank the Italian people when they supported our walk from Rome to Paris, and uh, that was really a good experience. Grazie mille. Oh, <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> I'm sorry for my English is not perfect, but I think that the translator can uh, translate my feelings, so I want to try. <laughs> Miss Italy, we want to thank the Italian people for spaghetti and pizza. <laughs> Well, yesterday I met uh, some people and they always said, pizza, Italian pizza. <laughs> I Thank pizza. you, Miss Italy. Thank, Thank you. you. Ciao, Bella.